Yeah. Oh, go ahead. No, I just no, want no, like, ahead, that kind of represents too that um, whole thing, the whole imagery with the temple instruments, and then the you know. So you you get at the beginning, you have um, the Day of Atonement imagery right before the tribulation where the angel you know waves the incense and then throws it at the earth and then the tribulation begins right after that and so so then it you know that kind of gets into the imagery of the um temple instruments and how like it's actually it goes backwards out from the inside of the temple outward almost like an imagery of, of yahweh coming out to bring the judgment upon the earth and every single aspect of the um, temple instruments are actually um, in the, in the destruction itself in each one in order. And so it's like, kind of like the, the purpose of the instrument is now changed into the, the destruction of man through the instrument in a way. So it's kind of that reversal there as well with the seals. Same, so very similar. Yeah. That's awesome because so in the car today when I was driving to my appointment, I heard him say, look up Death Rider and tell me what does it mean? So that's kind of how the Lord led us to Exodus today. And he was showing us that Exodus is starting backwards. So like when, you know, the children die in Exodus, he's actually taking the children out and then darkness falls. And that matches all the messages he's been giving me because he's been saying once the bride goes up, darkness falls. So it's all kind of correlating with the plagues of what's going on. And that has to do with the EMP and everything. And that's what the rapture kind of brings on the darkness. And then also it's like what Jess was talking about with the, the pentacle and everything. The Lord gave me a message on this and I'll just read a tiny bit of it really quick. And then I'll explain what he's trying to say there. Um, come on. So, okay, so it was June 4th message, and he said, The disaster that is coming no man has seen. The pentacle of the Earth's atmosphere is chopping at the block that's going to fall in. When the Earth shakes and the fault line breaks, disaster and chaos commence, and Alaskan finances will be hindered. He said, as part of the enemy's plan, they are using their witchcraft and sorcery to create demonic devices backed by heart man-made devices used to create chaos and destruction and i'm allowing this because my judgment is coming satellite 512 will be a part of the destruction a portal used by cern to create radioactive waves and black death will be the new virus it's all coming after her positive so what she was saying is the seal it, it's almost like uh, a seal covering the entire earth and when god said he's blocking the satellites it's not actually like a physical satellite it's like a portal from them getting in so once the bride goes up that portal is no longer blocked which is why he says that there'll be demons walking the earth like in one of my messages he said talks about how the demons and the necklaces will be walking on the earth and how antarctica's mysteries will be revealed because he's showing us that it all goes back to the garden of eden and where it begins, the symbolism of it, the spirit, the physical, all of that stuff has to do with the mysteries. Like every scary movie you'll ever see that's going to be in the Great Tribulation all goes back to Antarctica. He's talking about the mysteries being revealed. Um, and then he was also showing us the date. So he told me that the months have been changed. So he started the prophecies from the end to the beginning, starting December 30th. Well, it started out showing the end of the world in the very beginning of December 30th prophecy and so on. Then he showed me that the months are going backwards now because he's the beginning and the Alpha and the Omega. So now 12 is 1, November is 2. So November is like a fractal. It's kind of mirroring uh, February 15th, which also mirrors the midnight cry, which is what Jess talked about, how she found that mathematically perfect with 25.6, um, which mirrors the midnight cry so it's like the lord is almost doing a foreshadow of events with the exodus he's going to show you what it's going to be like in the great tribulation but he's showing it within those 10 days the 10 days is in matthew when it talks about tribulation it's not the great tribulation it's actually just talking about suffering because he showed me there's going to be pre-wrath you have he takes the 12 and the children he takes the bride and then repenters start meaning that pre-wrath starts of destruction almost like the pre-wrath 
um, of the Egypt plague. It's all going to be like that. Now, I don't know the exact plagues he's using because I feel like he's using some differences, you know, with the darkness being an EMP. I don't know. But I just know that he's leading us that way, which is also leading us to um, the date because if he's mirroring February, if it's this year, now, for some reason, if God has more plans and more revelations and it goes into next year, I don't think it will be next year. I feel like it has to be this year. But if he is revealing it for next year, then it's possible the months start over again with the real February 15th. But right now we're looking at this year and we're looking at it as February 15th could be November 15th because he talks about really quick in the messages for February 15th. He says, and many messages, I have a bunch, um, you know, let me just, it's easier just to pull them up really quick this way. Um, let me go to my notes so I can do a. Jess, if you want to go ahead and say whatever, if you need to say something while she looks up. Oh, um... Yeah, I just, I wanted yeah, to just yeah, quickly yeah. comment on just back what you were saying about that message with um the pentacle of the earth i know people you know got really upset it sounds like pentacle of the earth it almost sounds like god's creating the earth with a pentacle why would he have the pentacle so i think it's real. this is why um this whole thing about the you know satanist stuff is really important um because it's it's almost like it gives that whole message you know there's it's it's very detailed and we won't get too into it but overall it just it gives a picture of almost like um you know a uh, uh, a movie is about to start you know the it's like the or a musical and the um curtains fly open and that's kind of like the picture of the veil and so then once the restrainers removed you know these you can think of satanists you know or whatever satan himself or you know is they're they're going to be able to do all their stuff their incantations their witchcraft or whatever and kind of like remove this pentacle so the pentacle again it represents the door it represents protection but it also represents opening up you know to another realm and so they're going to be able to finally get through that, you know it's being blocked right now by the restrainer and so you can kind of get a whole new picture about what the like the restrainer being removed really is and so it's literally like just like it's gonna be it's gonna be a massive version of what i was saying earlier with them conjuring up demons in a small pentagram in the middle of nowhere america it's gonna be on a mass scale it's gonna be the entire earth it's gonna be like just the whole thing's open. It's whole the whole thing's busted open. So, yeah. Go ahead, Kathy. I was just gonna say, um, really quick too. Like, um, one of the things that Jess has been talking about is, um, the the Maseroth and how if you you've got the the twelve, the three, the six, and the nine, and it makes a cross. Well, and then um, if you turn it. Um, and like you flip it or whatever on its mirror image and it shows an upside down cross. So as an example, like the whole concept of the Maseroth, she's finding the Maseroth itself is essentially a portal and she can go into that maybe in a minute in that, um, he gave me, um, revelation that it also is a seal. So a seal, like something that holds something down, holds it together or what have you. And so whenever, whenever the stars and the sun, the moon, and all of those things fall, then it's like that as, as a Maseroth or what have you will be a seal removed or the veil removed. So it's like kind of like synonymous. And so at that point, that's when things turn upside down, right? And so when he talks about the constellations turning upside down, which he said so many times, it's imagery of... Um, the veil being removed, the Holy Spirit being removed, and literally everything um, being allowed to fully become, you know, satanic in that way, because the full reign at that point is given to the God of this this earth, right, for a short time. Well, in the same thing, he was showing us with numbers. So when he was talking about 215 and then the 512 satellite, which I'm going to let Jess go into here in a little bit, um, so 512 is the direct mirror image backwards of the 215. And so that is yet another way he was saying that 
like the 215 is his holy day, it's the beginning, and then 512 is the end.